Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Osa's Icebinder here. Um, today's topic, and I, I, I actually want to talk about this because there's so many of you out there, so many. <sighs> topic of today is depression. It's a very sore subject. Um, to me it's a sore subject. Because I have it. <laughs> um, it, it's it's not so, it's not an emotion to be a proud of. It's a very hard emotion to get by. And for some people, they take medication because it gets too much. Um, I've been in depression since I was a child. I'm 34, so. Now you guys know what my age is. Uh, I started depression when I was, God, when I was a kid. I just grew up that way. Uh, video games have, in a way, became a cure of depression because it keeps my mind from thinking about the bad things, from thinking about the emotions from thinking about the things that's happened in the past, the telling myself that I'm worthless, that you, you're you're useless, you you don't you you shouldn't really be here. Um, and I suffer daily, so don't think that you're alone. For you people out there who do have it. I, I I battle depression on a daily basis. I try my hardest to not think about it because it's very emotionally and um, I try I try very very hard to think of other things. I try to put things in my mind to allow myself to think that. I'm a I'm a bad, I'm a good person than I was yesterday. I'm a good person than I was a month ago, a year ago, ten years ago. I I'm better for who I am now than I was then. We all go through so many bad experiences in our lives, and some of us can't get past that. It's it's very difficult to sometimes get past depression. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys because there's so many of you out there who suffer. It, to me, it kind of... I'm trying not to cry here. To me, it breaks my heart. See, see so many of you suffer from it. It's... It's so sad. I see so many of you who suffer from depression. Some of I've seen my younger generation do some of the craziest things I've never seen before, or some that I've I've already went down that road. I I've, I've seen so much in my in my years that. It's 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 hard. I'm 34 years old and I'm I'm living the way I am. I'm doing the best I can, <laughs> and that's that's why counts, guys. That that's that is the key right there. Do the best you can. If there's something you enjoy doing in life, whether it be gaming, whether it be dancing, singing, whether it be drawing or word. Uh, uh, woodworking or mel welding or or something you know do something that you love and it's the that is the main key sorry um that you need to try and do focus on on you you if you focus on you you help others by helping you it sounds like a selfish thing to even think about but it's true. 
when you start thinking about yourself, and uh, my computer just said goodnight, um, when you start thinking about yourself and do what you need to go do, you end up helping others by helping you. It's 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 kind of a twist it's kind of a twisted way of doing things, but in a way it works. And ever since I started thinking that pattern, like four years ago, I just things have changed in my life that that helped me in a in a stepping stone. But I tell my mind all the time that depression is an emotion. And I just, you know, when I suffer, you know, when I cry myself to sleep and I tell myself that, uh, you know, I'm not really worthless because there's people out there who care. You know, I, I try to put in my mind and I force myself to think this is just an emotion. It needs to pass. It'll pass. And that's, that's what I tell myself. It's just an emotion. It'll pass. And I tell myself that. You know, and but it it's it's hard. It it's hard, and it's it's easier said than done because when you when you say it, people don't tend to understand it, or if they do understand it, it's really hard to do because you're trying to train yourself that this is just an emotion. It's just basically a imbalance of the brain. Of its of of its chemicals inside the brain that basically imbalances. I guess I don't know how to explain it that well, but uh, I read an article on it. It's basically an imbalance in the brain, and it's 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 hard. Okay, and I know, I understand your pain, all you guys out there who suffer from depression. Even cutting yourself for attention. I understand. I did that when I was a kid. I haven't done. I haven't done it then. I, I was in foster care when that happened. So, um, it's just, you know, depression is a mind killer. That's what it is. It it basically seeps into your brain and makes you think that you're worthless. You are not worthless. You are here for a reason. Even if you don't know what that reason is, keep going. It's 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 like a mystery. You kind of have to just solve the puzzle of the mystery to find out exactly who you are. Or try to figure out exactly what you want to become, who you want to become. If you want to become a better person years from now. Or if there's something that you love doing years from now that you want to keep going, but someone else tells you that you're you can't you'll never be this. Or if you're a kid and you're going through school and getting bullied, and I I've been there too. I was bullied from when I was in third grade, all the way up till high school, till almost graduation. So I I understand. <laughs> I've had everything you could possibly have done to a bully. I mean, from from a bully, from being locked in lockers. Oh, I could tell you so many stories on lock, being locked in a locker, uh, being dumped in a trash can, um, having your food spit on. You know, and and normally, those are just guys doing that to other guys. But no. I was considered an outcast because I'm deaf in one ear. I don't have a hearing aid. Um, uh, because they cost too much. They cost way too much. Um, <laughs> I will be learning sign language sometime later on down in the future because I'll probably have to. Um, I do wear glasses. Where are they? Of course. They're over on my, uh, my dresser. Um, you know, I've, I know what it's like to be an outcast. I know what it's like to be picked on. I know what it's like to be bullied. I know what it's like to go through depression. I've been through these stages. Even as an adult, you, you still can't completely get over it, but you can tell yourself that I'm a better person now than I was then. And I'm stronger now 
than I was then. So that's the only thing I can tell you guys to give in a piece of advice. Will you stop going to sleep, computer? Um, is basically just keep going. Uh, if, if you're suffering from depression and you're a child, I'm going to tell you to keep going. If you're an adult and you're suffering from depression, or even a teenager suffering from depression, keep going. I know it's hard. Trust me, it's hard. It's never easy. Nothing is ever easy. If life were easy, <laughs> if life were easy, we wouldn't be suffering the way we do things today. So, uh, this, uh, this video, this vlog, is for you people out there who suffer from depression. For you viewers out there who watch my, who watch my channel and are subscribed, I'm going to tell you, you're amazing. I'm going to tell that to you every single time because that's what you are. I mean, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. You guys are amazing. That's just it. And I can't thank you enough. My... I've been through so much in my life. I, uh... It's, it's hard. Um... Trying to find the right, right words, cause uh, when I'm angry or when I'm, if I'm scared, if I'm angry or anything else, I can't talk, I, and if I do, I stutter. So it's, it's just the way I am, and uh, that's why, I, that's why I wanted to tell you guys, cause there's so many of you guys out there who suffer from it. And I'm, I'm here to tell you that do what you love doing, regardless of what anyone else thinks. And I guarantee you when you start doing what you love and you enjoy it, you're going to change the world. You are going to change the world. And believe it or not, I kind of want to see that. I want to see my younger generation grow from a cute little tiny sprout and this is going to be kind of weird how I explain things. But that's just the way I am. Um, I want to see you as a cute little sprout. And I want to see you bloom into a beautiful flower. I want to see what kind of flower you guys can be. I want to see what you guys can be. I want to see the beauty that you guys can come out. Because I know you guys are strong. If I can make it. That's 34 years old who suffer from depression for years. You guys can make it. You guys can do it. I know you guys can do it. You guys are strong. You're all strong out there. You can do it. I know you guys can. Even you cutters out there who who cut because you're you feel so alone and your only way is pain. I know this. I understand. You can do it. I know you can. The people who who give up are the ones who let their loved ones and everyone else down. Suicide is not the answer. It never was. It just brings pain to others. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cry, but I have to get this out. Because I see so many of you. You're amazing people. And when you guys get older, you guys are going to be amazing. You will change the world in so many ways. You will change the world in the faces of my generation and beyond. Even the younger generation. I'm learning from you guys. I'm learning from you guys. I'm learning from my younger generation. I sounds kind of crazy and co kind of corny, but yeah, I have to get this out because I see so many of you guys suffer on a daily basis, and I try my best to talk to you guys because I know what it's like to suffer. It's not easy. It never was. And that's why I wanted to tell you guys this. 
You know? YouTube was the best thing that ever happened to me. Because I get to show you guys things that nobody knows. The world don't even know. And I'm working on that. It's just very slowly. Unfortunately. And, uh... You guys are not alone. And I'm getting pinged. Of all the people. Really? Exit. I'm sorry. Someone decided to ping me on my dang steam. Ugh. But don't give up. Never give up. Some of you are going to reach the stars beyond you'll ever, meet, ever know. And I'm going to tell you something. When you put your name out there in, in my belief system, when you do good deeds in this world, it will echo. Like Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, all these people who, who are famous, their names are going to go down in history. Like Sky Does Minecraft. His name's going to go down in history. PewDiePie. All these people are going to go down in history. You will never be forgotten. Never. I don't care what everyone, anyone else says. Your name is going to carry over to the next generation. And there's going to be people out there who wants to be you. Who wants to be, not exactly like you, but... You get my drift. The next generation over. But I mean, you guys are wonderful. And by me learning from you guys, <laughs> you guys help me become strong. All you guys. You guys are amazing. So don't forget that. When a YouTuber tells you that you're amazing, you really are. And you're amazing. <sighs> okay. I think I'm done crying now. Um, I get very emotional when it comes to this type of topic because it's, to me, it's very hard. And it needs to come out because there's so many of you. There's just so many. And I believe you guys deserve to know. So... Some of you guys can take this as a grain of salt. Some of you guys don't take this as an insult because it really isn't. It was never meant to be. And for some of you who do suffer, remember how important you are to another person. Even if you don't realize it, remember that. Always remember that. You guys take care. You have no idea how important you guys are. And for you subscribers who come to my channel, you don't know how important you are to me. For a lonely soul like myself who basically do, does the best that I can do. And that's all I can give you. I, 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 to me, it's either you give all or nothing. <laughs> if you ain't giving it all, then apparently you're not doing good enough. At least that's what I tell myself. But, you no, know, just do the best you can. That's all you can do. And you know what? We all make mistakes. Okay? Mistakes is being human. That's what you are. You're being human. You make mistakes. That's normal. So... Don't forget that. And don't if you make a mistake and you're nervous about it, then do what I do, say fuck it and just go and <laughs> just go with it cuz I guarantee you people will look at it and go this person's trying. This person is really trying and they're trying really hard and they're doing a good job. Try. It. <laughs> so just keep doing what you love. Keep doing what you're... Keep being amazing. I don't know what more I can tell you guys. But don't let depression control you. Because it is a mind killer. It will put you down. It will make you feel like you're nothing. So don't let it. It's, a, it's easier said than done. 
some of you go through depression, having medication that helps, but some, and I, I've been through medication. I can tell you the story on that one. But, uh, no, just be who you are. That's all I can say. And I guarantee you, once you do that, you will change the lives of people. If not, your younger generation. Heck, you guys are teaching me something. And I'm an older generation. So, yeah. Thank you. You guys take care, initiates. This is a little learning experience. And uh, I hope you learned from this. You guys got to know a little bit about me. I don't like talking about my past because it's, uh, it's a very sore subject. Very hard for me. But, uh, yeah. You guys take care. And, uh, we'll see you next time. You guys, put a smile on your face no matter what. Just, just put a smile on your face. Keep going.